in this video i will talk about impedance the war. after that i will show you the impedance of a series rlc circuit series rl circuit a uh, series rc circuit and impedance in case of a pure resistor pure inductor and pure capacitor okay so at first you have to understand what does the word impede means the word impede means oppose or resist so the word impedance will imply opposition and the impedance implies the opposition to current flow in a circuit let's say we express the impedance with z as the word impedance implies the opposition to current flow if any circuit we increase the amount of opposition you see there will be a decrease in the current or if i decrease the amount of opposition it will increase the current flow in that circuit okay when does the word impedance come into existence if in a circuit we have inductance l or capacitance c or both in addition to resistor r the total opposition to current flow due to the inductance or capacitance or both in addition to resistance in that circuit will be known as impedance this is what i have written here the total opposition see impedance is the total opposition offered to current flow okay by an inductor or capacitor or both in addition to resistor that opposition will be known as impedance that opposition is called impedance okay we can also define the impedance of a circuit in terms of phasor voltage and phasor current see impedance of a circuit is also defined as the ratio of phasor voltage v to phasor current i okay it is the ratio of phasor voltage v and phasor current i that means i can write down impedance z equal to the ratio of phasor voltage v to phasor current i if i have an alternating voltage v equal to vm sin omega t plus phi v that means initial phase phi v and maximum value vm and if i have an alternating current i equal to im sin omega t plus phi i if i express the sinusoids into phasor form i can write it like this vm phase angle phi v or if i express the phasor current i will get i m phase angle phi i okay so this will implies the impedance now the ratio of maximum value of voltage and current pm by i m implies the magnitude of the impedance and see this is phi v and this is phi i therefore i will i can write this angle phi v minus phi i and this phi v minus phi i will imply the angle of this impedance okay so our impedance is a complex number that represents the total opposition to current flow by an inductor or capacitor or both in addition to a resistor and we can calculate that impedance by taking the ratio of phasor voltage and phasor current okay and our impedance z will be equal to vm by im phase angle phi v minus phi i vm by im will indicate the magnitude and phi v minus phi i will indicate the angle of this impedance okay now i will show you the impedance of rlc series circuit see i have a resistance r in series with inductance l and capacitance c and i am applying an alternating voltage v equal to vm sin omega t whose rms value is capital v and the rms current that is flowing in the circuit is i okay so this v and i the ratio of this voltage v and the ratio of this current i will be our impedance see as this is a series rlc circuit there are three possible cases when vl is greater than vc vl is less than vc or vl is equal to vc now i am considering the case vl is greater than vc in that case this will be the vector diagram of that circuit from this in this direction i will take the reference phasor i okay and from this point to this point i will get our voltage vr which is in phase component with this i and i will get vl minus vc in this direction okay therefore the vector sum of vr and vl minus vc will be our resultant or applied voltage phasor v okay now see our current phasor i will be equal to i plus j0 we are taking i in the real axis there is no imaginary part so i is equal to i plus j0 our applied voltage phasor v is the sum of vr which is in phase component with this i and the end vl minus vc which is a quadrature component of this 
i that means it creates right angle with this current phasor i therefore i will write v equal to vr plus jvl minus vc now see as this is an inductor vl will be equal to i xl and as this is a capacitor our vc will be equal to i x c okay so if i put the value of vl and vc here i will get vr equal to ir plus j i x l minus i x c so here i i and i everywhere in the three terms so i will get i equal to r plus j x l minus x c now see the ratio of phasor voltage v and the phasor current i this is our impedance z so v divided by i will be our impedance z which will be equal to r plus j x l minus x c so this is the impedance of a series r l c circuit r plus j x l minus x c in fact this is the general formula of impedance in a r l c circuit okay now see impedance z equal to r plus j x l minus x c so the magnitude of the impedance will be z equal to root over r square plus x l minus x c square and the phase angle because magnitude of z will be root over r square plus x l minus x c whole square and the phase angle of this impedance will be equal to phi which will be equal to 10 inverse xl minus xc divided by r okay now let me show you the impedance of series rl circuit always remember the general formula of impedance is z equal to r plus j xl minus xc in case of a rlc series circuit if there is no capacitor you will see this term of the impedance will be zero if there is no inductance you will see this term of the impedance will be zero or if there is no resistance in the circuit you will see this term of the impedance will be equal to zero so by using that formula i can write down the impedance of a of rl series circuit see here our alternating current is i and applied voltage is v here r and l are connected in series so if i apply kvl in the circuit i can write v equal to v r plus v l similarly i can write down i common r plus j x l okay therefore you will see if i take the ratio of this v and i i will get the impedance z equal to r plus j x l and this r z equal to r plus j x l will be the impedance of this series r l c circuit the magnitude of the impedance will be r square plus x l square and the phase angle of the impedance will be 10 inverse x l by x 10 inverse x l divided by r okay now let me show you the impedance of this rc series circuit the resistance r and the capacitance c they are connected in series and i am applying an alternating voltage v equal to vm sin omega t in this circuit here you will see this v will result a current i let's say the rms value of that current is capital i and the rms value of this v equal to vm sin omega t is capital v this v represents the rms value or the phasor voltage of, of this alternating voltage and this i represents the rms value of the alternating current flowing in the circuit Th as this is a series circuit current i will be same all over the circuit and this voltage will be divided as vr across this resistor r and vc across this capacitor c so if i apply kvl in the circuit in clockwise direction i will get supplied voltage equal to absorbed voltage vr plus vc v equal to vr plus vc we know that vr equal to ir and vc equal to i x c this v is the voltage phasor and this i is the current phasor capital i okay now see here v 
here this i is common in both terms so i can take it out of this bracket sign v equal to i into r plus x c equal to 1 by j omega c so if i take the ratio of phasor voltage and phasor current this is phasor voltage and this is phasor current i so the ratio of phasor voltage to phasor current will be our impedance z so here i can write down impedance z equal to r minus j square by j omega c j square has a magnitude of minus 1 so multiplication of this minus 1 with this minus sign will result 1 by j omega c ok so r minus j square divided by j omega c so I, here i will get in the next line r minus j divided by omega c equal to our v by i equal to z so here the magnitude of xc is given by 1 by omega c you know that xc is equal to 1 by omega c so i can replace this omega c with x c so here you will see the ratio of phasor voltage to phasor current will be our impedance which is equal to r minus j x c so the impedance of a rc series circuit or whenever in any branch we get r and c connected in series the impedance will be equal to r minus j x c the magnitude of this impedance will be equal to z which will be equal to root over r square plus x c square and the phase angle of this impedance will be equal to phi which will be 10 inverse x c divided by r now what is the impedance of a pure resistor in a pure resistor there is no imaginary part therefore our impedance z will be equal to r plus j zero or you can remember the general formula of impedance in case of a series RLC circuit z equal to r plus j xl minus x c in case of a pure resistor there is no inductance and capacitance therefore these two terms will be equal to zero therefore in z will be equal to r plus j zero or if i express that in polar form i will get r phase angle zero in case of a pure capacitor there is no resistive component and no capacitive component therefore r will be equal to zero and this x c will be equal to zero so i will get z equal to zero plus j x l x l is given by omega l so here i can write zero plus j omega l or if i express that in phasor polar form i will get xl phase angle 90 degree okay or if i consider a pure capacitor in case of a pure capacitor xl will be zero and a resistance r will be equal to zero so here you will see i will get z equal to minus j x c we know that the x c is the capacitive reactance we know that x c is given by omega c so i can write it like this minus j divided by omega c or in polar form i can write it like this x c phase angle equal to minus 90 degrees so these are the impedance of pure resistor pure inductor and pure capacitor in a pure resistor z equal to r and in polar form it will be r phase angle will be zero degree in case of pure inductor resistance r and capacitance ca and capacitive reactance will be zero as a result i will get pure inductor impedance will be equal to plus j x l which will be equal to x l phase angle 90 degree in polar form or in case of a pure capacitor resistance and inductance will be zero as a result i will get zero minus j x c in polar form i can write it like this x c phase angle will be minus 90 degree and in case of a r c series circuit our impedance will be equal to c we can use this general formula in case of a r l r c circuit there will be no inductance in that case x l will be equal to zero so our rest of the equation will be r minus j x this minus sign is multiplied with this plus sign therefore r minus j x c in case of a r l series circuit there is no capacity part x x c will be equal to zero as a result you will see i will get r plus j x l whose magnitude will be root over r square plus x l square phase will be 10 inverse x l minus x l divided by r 
in case of a rlc series circuit i have shown you the derivation impedance equal to r plus j xl minus xc that's it thank you